Well, hello, my name is Ryan Bell, and guess what? I'm wearing a robe. Now, you may be wondering why I'm wearing a robe, but I'm going to get to that. First, I'm introducing a new series called Call of Duty Boot Camp. Now, it's pretty much as it seems. I'm going to be teaching you guys something that nobody else has taken on before. I'm going to make you guys better at Call of Duty. Now, you can watch videos all day long. It's great for entertainment. I do it myself, you know, every day. But something that I haven't seen before that I wish I would have had when I was younger, when I first started playing Call of Duty, or, you know, even right now, because there's, you know, there's people that are way better than me. But I, I'm in a spot where I can teach you as young Padawans to become great as Call of Duty. Now, here's why I'm wearing the robe. I don't think you guys would take me seriously if I weren't wearing a robe. I mean, you guys are young Padawans. I am like Obi-Wan Kenobi, for those of you who don't understand Star Wars reference. So here's day one. We're going to start in some... I'll back out so you guys know exactly where to go. You, you go as if you're playing a multiplayer match. You then go to custom games. Now here's what I do. I go and play in a combine. It's close quarters. Um, keep it on team deathmatch because you want to be playing against bots. Now here's what you also want to do. Notice and edit game rules. Go to time limit. Turn that off. We don't want any time limit. Now I like to leave it at 75. It generally... That's about right. I like being on Black Ops. Totally doesn't matter. So you do whatever you need. And I'm gonna. I don't put 18 bots, and and here's why. It becomes too hectic in a map of this size. So I like generally um, seven to twelve enemies. I'm gonna put it at nine though. Bot difficulty. Uh sometimes if I'm hard on myself, I will turn it on hardened, but. Most of the time, I think regular will work. And if you're really struggling, you're, you're towards the bottom, I recommend putting on recruit. This isn't necessarily for skill level. It's to get your aim down. That's the focus of today's lesson. Now, we're not going to be making a class that we like. It's not going to be any SMG, you know, assault rifle. It's going to be a single shot weapon. And it's not going to be a sniper either. Okay, We'll get to that in a later lesson. But today's lesson... We're going to be using the Argus, and here's why. It is a one-shot kill, it's easy to maneuver, and it's iron sights. You don't, you don't have to look through a scope. So what, what we're going to do, we're going to equip the Argus. I'm going to put my lovely Dark Matter. Oh, I can't. I guess I can't. So we got the Argus here. I wonder if I can go to... Yeah, there we go. Put some ice. I want to be entertained. No, I thought it's something for that. No sights. Optics aren't the best on Argus. Now, since we have bulky amount of enemy, enemies, we want extended mag, laser sight, long barrel, and rapid fire. I recommend highly that you copy this exact setup. Once again, that's extended max, laser sight, long barrel, and rapid fire. Now, let's go and get on to our perks. Don't know why an afterburner on, but a first perk needs to be overclock. Overclock is just, it allows you to earn your specialist weapon quicker. We want fast hands for our perk too. And finally, um, I don't, you know, I don't know why I have tactical mass. They're not going to be throwing stones at us. So I'm going to put on gung ho. All right. So there we have it. That's the Argus. And if you guys want to, um, I don't recommend it. You could open the budget up and allow yourself more than 10 slots, but I don't recommend it because you don't, you're not allowed to. And then you have two options for the specialist weapon. You can either use the Tempest or the Annihilator. I enjoyed the Tempest more, but in this case, I, I think the Annihilator would be a better trainer. Score streaks, try not to use them. Um, but, you know, if, you're, if you are, just use UAV and the hater. And counter UAV just because it's in there and it'll help you get your score streaks quicker. And let's go and hop in right into the game. Talk to you guys in a bit. So, I need to change my team. But, you know, what's it doing? <laughs> It's fun just on the same side. All right. Um, so, 
Let's go and get on to the objective. That's a bad start, but that's, you know, that's not the point. The objective of this episode is to get you guys aiming right. Now, you want to be able to jerk your sights onto somebody and pull the trigger knowing that that first bullet's going to hit them. Because in this game, the guy who, who usually hits the first bullet is usually going to win the, the gun battle. Now, that's definitely the case in professional gaming. But, in our case, in public matches, you're definitely going to come out on top. So, we're focusing on just getting that nice first hit. Because these are, you know, they're just moving targets. Back before um, Black Ops came out, and they didn't have uh, the custom games where you could play against bots. I used to sit there. It was Modern Warfare 2. I used to sit there and snipe at this little, like, target on a wall trying to you know group my bullets just so i could i could you know quick scope better because modern warfare 2 that's all i did uh i went for nukes but that was like too easy on that game so i think i'm trying to lower my sensitivity because i hear that the competitive players like to play on lower sensitivities and i usually play you know i used to play uh on insane, but I lowered mine down to an 11 not so long ago, trying to get a little bit better, like you know, optic damage and all that. So I'm just trying to get used to that still. So we're both, you know, this is perfect episode for me because we're learning together. So, anyways, when I found out that there was. You know, they uh, they put bots into Black Ops. I was like, dang, that's a good idea. That's going to help a lot because no more shooting at a freaking wall for me. And guess what, though? When when I started shooting at a wall in Modern for 2, that's when I started getting good. That, like, that was the game that I really started playing Call of Duty with because... I uh, I don't know. It was just it helped me a lot. I heard that putting a piece of tape on the center of your screen helps. Um, I don't know. I've heard a lot of things, but this is the one thing that helps tremendously. And you know, eventually, I'm gonna start reaching out to you know some of the better COD players to try and get some tips and tricks from them. You know. Maybe see if they'll do like a consultant deal. I mean, I definitely don't know how to reciprocate to somebody of that caliber, but I'm sure they'd be willing to do it. Should my account ever grow, I could just um, feature their, their channel on mine. What if I could just reach out to those people who, you know, who are really good? They all have something to say. I'm sure they do. And just think, if I learn something from all of the, the great Call of Duty players, and I mix that all, you know, there's something to learn. Ooh, how is that a hit marker? So as you can see, as I progress, I am starting to hit shots everywhere. Oh! And that's usually how it will be. Oh, I was going for that collateral. Sorry, collateral hit marker. Oh, that's unfortunate. So, if you guys haven't really understood the gist of this first episode uh you know just leave me a comment and i'll i'll be sure to get back to <laughs> oh my god that was terrible i'll be sure to you know comment back to clarify because it's it's important if you're trying to get better at call of duty that you get your aim down Oh, 
I remember when I was, uh, you know, a young noob, a young Padawan rather, at Call of Duty. I always wanted that, you know, that secret recipe that made all of those great players so good. I just didn't understand it. I was never one of those corner campers. I was one of those, like, ignorant rushing of a building and spraying for it. So, I mean, that was never the problem. It's just, like, I, I never understood it. And then one day I was like, oh, how is this guy hitting so many shots on me? And he's a quick scoper. Well, I realized the family recipe wasn't, you know, a recipe. If you can aim, you're going to be good. And, of course, if you go against, you know, veteran players who can jump shot, trick, you know, not trick shot, but drop shot, whatever, that's all factored into it. But that'll be in a later lesson. This one it's like it's like learning to play a sport. You know, you start with the fundamentals and you work your way up. Well, in Rambo's boot camp, we're starting with the fundamentals. And the fundamentals tell me if you can aim good, you're gonna play good. So the gist of this episode. Get your aim down. As soon as you have that down, we're able to progress into how to jump shot, how to drop shot, slide, G-slide, all the other factors. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys did, leave a thumbs up. It really lets me know how, if you guys like the video and whether or not I should progress with the series. Be sure to leave me a comment if you have any questions, concerns about the video. And if you aren't subscribed already, be sure to su subscribe to stay tuned. Rambo out.